Hello guys, and welcome to the next After Effects tutorial this week. We're going to be doing a little bit about chroma keying. Uh, we're going to be doing two different programs or plugins that we can use. The first one is going to be Keylight. Uh, that's a free plugin that comes with After Effects. And the second one is from Magic Bullet, and I'm going to be getting into that later. So first off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to mask out. You see we have this green screen footage right here. We're going to mask out. Uh, only the part that we want to be keyed out. So you can see that these are, this is not a very good green screen. This has many shadows, many hot spots, many um, darker spots. That's that's where, how I'm going to show you how, you know, the difference between key light and a better uh, keying software. So we're going to try to make this as easy as possible on our software. If you want to learn more about how to uh, mask out footage you can watch my tutorial on that but I'm just gonna do a quick one here as you can see the camera is gonna be stationary so it's not a big deal to and we don't have to evolve the mask over time we don't have to do that any of that again if you want to find out more about that you can go to my tutorial by clicking this button right here alright so click that right there it'll take you right to the masking tutorial uh, anyway, moving on, we're going to want to search in key light in effects and presets. Again, this comes with After Effects, so no need to buy anything there. We're gonna, uh, it's going to pop up this nice little interface. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this eyedropper. We're going to select the color that we want to key out. Um, I'm going to put this as a bit of a mid-range tone, something kind of in the middle. Nothing too dark, nothing too light. Alright, so we got that, and as you can see, it looks like that. What we're actually what we're going to do is we're going to switch the view to screen matte. That's just going to give us a black and white image. The black is completely transparent, and the white is completely opaque. Um, so we want to try and get as much contrast between white and black as possible. We want our subject to be all white, and we want the background to be all black. <coughs> so, we're going to switch around our, our screen gain to something about, like that, maybe like so. Uh, again, this is going to vary greatly with uh, each different project you're working on. So right there, we got a fairly nice key. This is too gray. We're going to have to fix that. And we have a little bit of fringing right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to screen matte. And we're going to bring up our clip black about like there, so that's going to get rid of that little fringing right there. <clears throat> you only want to bring up these values as as much uh, as l you want to bring them up as little as you can, so that you don't so that you don't sacrifice the integrity of your clip. Uh, I'm going to bring down the white, uh, and that's going to really help um, separate these two. As you can see, we got a little bit of something right there. Nothing too bad. Nothing's going to stick around, I'm sure. But that should be just about good. Uh, as you can see, we have, if we go back to final result, you can see that it's looking pretty good. We got a little bit of something right there. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pre-blur on here. That's going to just give us a little, a little something. Just, it's going to blur around the uh, the spot that it's keying out of, and it's going to give us a much better, much less choppy look uh, when we get to the end. Alright, so that's just about it, as you can see. If it will hopefully play relative, you know, not very smoothly, but as you can see, that's going to key out, you know, fairly well. As you can see, it did take a few manipulating, a little bit of manipulating of the different, you know, things there but we got a pretty good usable a usable thing we're gonna stop right there that's a great face uh, if we switch back to screen matte I want to touch up on something real quick uh, as you can see all white and all black if we had something where it was gray because the gray color means it's partially transparent um, and that if you put this clip if you put this um, this green screen clip right here onto another clip, you're going to see if part, part of this was gray, you're going to see part of the uh, clip in the background showing through him because he's going to be partially transparent. So you're going to keep that in mind for what uh, what you're going to be doing with this. But 
you know, it works pretty well, to be honest, especially for a free program. Um, so that's the quick overview on Keylight. Remember, it's a free plugin coming with After Effects, CS6, and CS5, and 5.5. Not sure about CS4. I haven't really dabbled with that much. But <clears throat> that's about it for Keylight. And now we're going to move on to a new program. Hey guys, we're back and we're going to check out the Primat Keyer. As you can see here, this comes from Red Giant's uh, Magic Bullet Looks package. And we're just going to drag this onto there. I'm going to leave a link right here and it's going to take you to where you can either buy um, uh, Magic Bullet Looks or you can download the trial so you can try this out for yourself. Uh, right when we drag this onto our already masked out composition, you can see it has a very nice interface. It's got nice buttons you know, that just draw you into what you need to be mostly worrying about. And right here we got an auto compute button. We're going to click that and <clears throat> it gives us a pretty quick and dirty key. It's not the best key in my opinion, it's much better to do this manually, so I'm going to undo that, because we're going to do this manual style. Um, so I'm going to switch my uh, sampling style to rectangle instead of point. This is kind of a preference, but I kind of like the rectangle, it just gives me a much broader uh, sampling s size, and I'm going to show you what this does. We're going to click and drag, actually, I'm going to undo that, we're going to click and drag. And as you can see, it brings up a rectangle, and everything inside this rectangle is what is all the ranges of green uh, that we're going to be sampling from. So we're going to let that go. As you can see, it gave us, you know, a kind of decent key, not very, but we're going to go to clean background, and we're just going to clean this up by selecting all the different parts that we want to, that uh, we're telling Primat here is the green and is the green screen. So just like we did in um, key light, we're going to switch the view to screen matte or matte. That's going to give us the black and white view that uh, I personally like. It gives us a better idea of what the final thing is going to look like. I'm going to go to uh, clean foreground this time. I'm going to select some of the subject. As you can see already, we've got a pretty nice key. Uh, yeah, there's really not much to this. Uh, I'm gonna switch the view back to comp just to see if we got a little bit of spill here. That's where spill killer comes in. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, at the moment it's disabled. If we click enable, it's not gonna do much because we're using a green screen, not a blue screen. We're gonna switch this to green. Um, and as you can see, that does a very good job, <clears throat> even without changing any of the settings. I might tweak it a little bit just to get rid of some of that green on his arms but that is pretty fantastic that's a very nice key so as you can see that was very quick in fact I think it, it was even quicker than um, key light but that is a very nice key if you want you could go into the focus matte it's gonna blur the edges a little bit for you as you can see it blurs it up. Um, I'm, I have it set to blurring outward. Uh, I'm not going to want to lose too much detail. I'm going to keep it like that. You can do an inward to focus which kind of blurs it inward or you can uncheck that and it's going to blur it outward. So that right there, that's a very very usable key uh, especially considering the quality of the green screen that we had was not of the best quality. <clears throat> But this Primat here did a very nice job with it, and as you can see, it's not going to play very smoothly, but that is a completely usable key. After some color correction, that's just going to look really great in whatever we're going to be using it on. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Um, just that simple. I highly recommend getting Primat here. It's one of my favorite keyers out there. Uh, give, even, especially given the price tag, it's not very expensive considering some of the other options you have out there. But that's just about it, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next week. Don't know what the tutorial is going to be like. But I'm going to see you next week, guys. Later. All right, hey guys. One more thing before you go. Um, I got this friend. He has an up-and-coming YouTube channel. He's doing really well. He's getting better and better with each video, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys 
my whole four subscribers would go on over to his page, give it a look, check out his videos, and uh, if you want to subscribe, um, I know I'm not in a very good position to be promoting other people's channels, especially because he has more than twice the number of subscribers as me, but he still wanted me to do it, so I'm happy to do so. So be sure to check his channel out and subscribe if you want to.